Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chris with Team Poker Savvy for Poker Savvy Plus. We are here making our fifth video in our Building the Basics series, and this video is going to focus on hand reading. Now, if you missed up on the last video, what I've gone, actually gone ahead and done is taken this bonus series that I'm making for you guys and turn it into a more of a series-based approach uh, with the title Building the Basics. Uh, the last video we did talked about betting lines, and this one's going to be an introduction into hand reading and try to help you guys develop your basic hand reading skills learning what lines to take, learning when to value bet and whatnot, and um, basically developing your post-flop play as opposed to the first couple of videos in the series which looked at pre-flop play. So an outline for this video is going to go as follows. Uh, the first part of the video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about, uh, do a quick actually wrap up of video four. Um, I never did address playing the playing out of position betting lines. I want to take some time doing that. And then there was a request to talk about playing like non-nut draws and other type of weaker but potential hands out of position, so I want to take a few minutes to discuss that as well. After that, I want to move into hand ranges and hand reading themselves. I want to kind of learn by the end of this video, be able to teach you guys, number one, what a hand range is. Number two, how you learn how to read basic hand ranges based on your opponent's stats and pre-flop tendencies. And then finally, I want to teach you guys how to learn how to evaluate your basic equity against a basic range and learn when we should be value betting, when we should be checking, and how we should respond to our opponent's river bets and river uh, raises and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get to it. So the one betting line that I did not discuss in the previous video was playing out of position. And the reasoning for this is that I had said that playing out of position is so player dependent, so, you know, situational dependent that it is one of the hardest things to do in poker and that's still completely true um, I watched another video by one of the other top professional who said that playing out of position is by far the most difficult thing to do in online hold'em and that's absolutely true in any form of poker I think Doyle Brunson was once quoted in saying that if he could choose uh, to play against you know any opponent and have position every hand he'd never look at his cards and while we're obviously not going to take our approach to playing out of position is, you know, to that extreme, we do want to understand that when we're being forced to play out of position, we want to tread cautiously and be as careful as possible. So uh, here I've just listed a basic situation where you find yourself out of position. Let's so say you've raised ace jack suited under the gun, pretty standard open. Uh, the button is called pre-flop, and the flops come ace, nine, seven. Uh, you see that, say, like, three-fourths of the pot, and the button is called. Um, this is going to be one of those spots you're going to find yourself in many, many times. And what you really want to understand when playing out of position is that there's going to be several basic guidelines and, and rules of the road that are going to want to follow to either maximizing value in out of position or avoiding big trapping situations. 